Hi, welcome back. In this lesson, we'll deal with ClickView services troubleshooting. As a ClickView administrator, you will have to do variety of things on day to day basis. However, the most important thing is getting your environment up and running when it's down. As we've already understood, the ClickView works based on service oriented architecture. We've already seen five different services which run hand in hand. So let's get started. The first scenario we will be looking at is QMC going down. Let's assume that you are a ClickView administrator and in your environment QMC is down. So I'll talk you through different troubleshooting steps on how to bring back QMC. Let me open the browser and type the URL for QMC. Here I'm using localhost. In your case, you might want to type the server name, right? So it can be this and you see this message this web page is not available so you can't access qmc and qmc is the portal which helps you to administer the clickview environment without having access to qmc it's almost impossible troubleshooting or managing clickview environment so what would you do in this scenario the first thing i would suggest is immediately look at if all the services are running so let me click on start and then I'll type services.msc. It's already there. So I'll hit OK and then come here. So this is where we will see all the Windows services related to this particular node. If you're running on a clustered environment, you might see the services scattered on different nodes. For example, one of them will be running QMS and the other ones are running QDS and QBS. But in our case, it's pretty straightforward. We are running everything as a single node. So it's a standalone installation. So all the services related to ClickView will be on this particular node. So let me type Q, right? And then you can see directory service connector, distribution service, management service, server, and then web server, right? And all of them looks, the status shows as they are started, but the ClickView management service doesn't show that it's, it's started. There might be a variety of reasons why this might have happened, right? But in our case, all we care about ClickView management service should be up and running to access QMC, right? So let me go ahead and start it. You can right click and then say start, or you can hit the play button, right? Before I do that, let me also show you a property. So go into properties, make sure that the startup type is automatic right and also make sure that the login details have the service account details make sure that it's not your user account you should be using the service account right and also ensure that the service account password never expires so let me show you that setting as well so let me go into computer management and go in here users and then you see this and look at the properties for this one password never expires, right? So basically you wanted to make sure that the service account password doesn't change or it never expires. We don't have to change. So let me close this and go back. So let me click on the general tab, right? You can also have automatic delayed start. This is a useful setting because QMS should be the last starting service. You wanted to make sure that QMS is the service which starts at the end of all the services or which starts after the other four services are started. The reason being QMS communicates with other services. So you wanted to ensure that QMS starts at the end. Don't have too many things installed. I think you should be all right. So I'll leave this as an automatic thing and click on the start button here. So you see that the service is being started and let me minimize this and go back now and reload the page again. There we go, we're back up and running again. You can see that QMS was down and we have to restart the QMS to get back to QMC, right? Now we wanted to also see the event logs to understand different error messages related to QMS, if there are any. any. So let me go into event logs. So I'll type event and uh, let me go to event viewer. 
it's quick and easy and go to customs log and then remember in previous lessons we have created qv underscore event logs right so i'll open that and you can see that the distribution service was down right you can see all this information in here but what we are interested in is not just the errors we wanted to also get the information so what you can do is either right click and click on filter current custom view or you can click on this button here right so let me click here and we wanted to get information and we wanted to get warnings and then we also wanted to get critical uh, information and let's say that all of this happened only in last one hour so you can also filter out the time interval so in our case let's select last hour and then click on ok so we can see the information in here right now so around 3 25 p.m for some reason uh, okay that's QM QMS started right so let's go back and let's see so yes so you can see that click view management service service has been stopped successfully so in my case I've deliberately stopped the service to show you or to mimic the real world problem so that is why it shows that the service has been stopped and you can see the details in here you can also view the details in XML but well, um, personally, I'm not a big fan of XML. So I would leave that out and leave this as a friendly view, truly friendly. So we can see the information in here, right? And then you can just use your up and down arrow keys and then you can see the information. And in our case, we restarted the service again. So the important thing is the level of logging is information. This is still not considered as error. If you don't see the error messages, make sure that information and warnings are also enabled. Let me also show you some information on QMS logging. So let me go on to QMS logging. So let's go to C drive and then program data, click tech, and then look for management service. And then let's look for log, right? And let's sort it just to make sure. Yeah, this is the one. So let's open this file and let me go towards and scroll down completely right so let me go back to event viewer and let's see the time frame so we are talking about the service went down around 3 18 pm 36 seconds so let me scroll up and we can see some information here right here right so you can see that initializing shutdown because I've manually turned off the service or shut down the service and it's saying that stopping backend objects, front-end web server, ping thread, backup scheduler, backend server. So it's basically doing all of that stuff including stop LEF, your license uh, file, update thread and also session manager and QDS communication. Basically to turn off it has to stop all the threads or the processes which it constantly runs. I mean, QMS constantly runs. And so when we restart the service, hopefully we should see similar information about starting back the same processes. So now we can see checking for default auth table and then starting up QDS communication, starting task status, cache manager, starting backup scheduler. We can see the service is back up and running again and starting ClickView web server on port 4780, right? So it's pretty useful to look at the logs and understand if there is any specific reason why the service has been stopped. You can see information in two places. One is in event logs and the other one is your QMS service related logging. You can also see that information here. So let me go back and let me close this. So let's go ahead with the second scenario. Now we have QDS is down. So we can see that information on top banner in orange color. And if we click on services, we can see that QDS is disconnected. So what do we do? We have to do similar thing. We need to look at the event logs and we need to also look at services.msc. So in my case, I can see that the distribution service is not started. Although the startup type is set to automatic, it's not manual, it's automatic, but still it's not started. So I'll go ahead and restart it first because you wanted to get the environment back up and running quickly. Then you wanted to 
go ahead and look at the logs and understand what went wrong. You want to try that first, right? And let me go back to logs and then let me just refresh it. Now we can see the information here. There is an error log and it says that the ClickView distribution service 11.20 is down and then it says this error message so we can see this information in here generally how you should be looking at these kind of events is you need to look at what happened just before this particular timestamp you wanted to see if there is any conflict or if there is any other service which caused this particular issue right so always make sure that you check a few minutes before most likely you will find the answer on what caused it and there is in some information in here and hopefully when we restart there should be an entry here yes the service has been started successfully so we can see that information in here we also can see similar information in which logs that'll be the QDS logs so let me open the logs again and then go to D drive And then go to logs, QDS logs, and then go to the folder number one. And then let's look at this root folder and open this. So once we open it, let's go ahead and see the timestamp on when the service was down, right? So we can see that information in the event viewer or the event log. So service went down at 3.32.52 seconds. So let's go ahead and see what happened at 3.32 right 51 seconds so i can see some information in here saying thread was being aborted and initializing click view service so we can see the information in here and we can also see the service has been started in here if you see that information on this line click view distribution service is up and running you can see that in here you'll find some information about QDS within the QDS logs, right? So let me close this. So now we have third scenario, which is ClickView service going down. So let's go back to access point and let me reload the page, right? And we can see that ClickView service is down and we can see it's, it says that it's disconnected, right? So again, steps are pretty similar. You need to look at the services and most likely one of the service will be down. So we can see that it's not started and made sure that it's automatic startup type. So let me go ahead and start the service back up again. So let's go back and let's look at the event logs. So I'll go to the event logs in here and D drive logs QVS and let's open the event logs and let me scroll down and we can see some information about the service. And if you see the timeline, if you see the timestamp, it's 1538. It's because it, that is the server start time. When we say server start time, it's not the actual physical server. We are talking about the service as a server in here. So click view service is also called as a server. Right. So that is why we can see the timestamp. It's 1538, which is like two or three minutes back. The service was stopped. So we had to restart it. So that is a timestamp for the server start time. Right. So we can see that information in here. And also we can look at the performance logs and we'll see some information about. We can see this here. Right. So server shutdown and then server starting back. You can see the timestamps in here for both of them. So I hope it makes sense on how you can use logs and also look at different services to troubleshoot any kind of services going down issue. First thing I would say is don't panic. Things would go wrong in reality. So when things go wrong, try and focus on the issue and try and follow a thought pattern. If you want quickly write down the steps you wanted to do and then start checking each one of them. Okay, now let's go ahead and look at the last one, which is access point going down. So if I wanted to access click view access point, say click view. So that's my access point URL. And you can see that you can't access the access point because the click view web server is down. So let's go ahead and look at QMC. We can see that information in here and ClickView Web Server 
manages the access point. So let me go back and then look at the web server. Yes, that's not been started. So restart the ClickView web server and then go back and then reload the access point. There we can see the access point is loaded. So again, you can look at the web server logs and you can also look at event logs, right? So I hope all of this makes sense. Thank you for watching.